What's up guys, it's your boy Damon, and welcome back to another New World video. Today, we're talking about is Void Bent still worth it? Now, a lot of people are going to be like, no! So a lot of people are going to be yes. But I think that after consulting with the guild and, you know, talking about this process, you know, based on progression, uh, shouts out to the guild, shouts out to the stream for asking me this question on the short stream that I just recently had on Twitch, um, I think the answer is yes and no. Or basically... It depends. Now, after talking with the guild, I was like, hey, knowing what you know now, with gear being able to drop at basically 598, 600, you know, you just pretty much get a willy nil as your watermark is high enough, would you still craft void armor? And the question or in the, in the response that I got from the guild is it depends, right? So when we were talking about this, we looked at this kind of at a standpoint of, so let's say you just hit 60 and your gear score is just 500 and you're a crafter. You happen to have already matched your professions and you know you happen to know somebody that can craft this or you can craft this or you're looking for something to do to give yourself kind of a segue into the game. Just for the luck itself, like this could be a useful armor set to have just because it's gonna help you get access to better gear, right? Or more frequent gear or gear that's on loot tables that you may or may not have access to if your luck isn't high enough. Like if you use this in conjunction with trophies, so on and so forth, you could do this. Now the counter argument to that is you can find gear in the world that has luck on it. But the benefit of running Void Bent is that you know what the stats are going to be on the gear, right? So if you know exactly what you're going to be getting, then that's what you can go for. Now, either way, though, is it's going to take a lot of time. Because getting your gear score from 500 to 600, depending on how much you're playing a day, can mean a lot of different things, right? Because I was playing pretty much nonstop, and it still took me a couple of weeks to get the gear score stuff that I have now and get to the point where I was like, well, hell, you know, 590 gear score, I could just probably just farm gear and then just see what happens, right? <laughs> but the, the caveat to that is that the only reason I was able to feel like I could do that is because I had the Void Bend gear crafted so far ahead of time. Like, my, I had the Void Bend done when I I was like 520 530 and now you know being 590 i'm looking for only replacement pieces so it puts you in a strong position especially if you have a very low gear score or or watermark to kind of be more picky with the armor that you're willing to accept again not to mention that it increases your luck now if you guys opt to go the other route like let's say you just want to farm gear and you don't care about void bent you don't want to invest the asmodium because you're saving the asmodium for your crafter so you can start crafting your own 600 custom gear score pieces then at that point you're just basically going to be farming gear and you have to be willing to put in the time not to mention you are going to need a crap ton of materials uh, specifically asmodium plus whatever you know glittering ebony and all the other rare materials that you'll have to craft that are on a time limited craft system you can only craft 10 a day and you're gonna have to start start stockpiling those every single day and the kicker though with the crafting is that when you're crafting these items for what i understand correct me if i'm wrong on this guys but from what i understand is when you're crafting an item you can pick the main stat or you can pick the perk but you can't guarantee everything else. So let's say, for instance, if I crafted a helmet and I chose that I wanted constitution, then I get the guaranteed constitution, but the rest of the stats are random. If I choose that I want the perk, let's say I wanted crit chance, right? Guaranteed crit chance no matter what, then everything else is random. <laughs> the other perks, and then, of course, the main stat. So... Either way, <laughs> we're, we're kind of screwed, right? Uh, you're going to put in a major time investment or resource investment for whatever it is that you want to do. If you're just farming gear in the open world and in dungeons and in chests and stuff, you're putting it a ton of time, right? If you're just uh, crafting the void bin armor, you're going to, it's going to take a ton of time to craft the resources and get everything that you need. And if you're looking for crafting, then it's going to take a lot of resources and time. And regardless of which route that you choose, uh, you're going to probably need access to some crafters. Unless of course you go the pure PVE route and just farm your way up. I don't think there's any right way to go, um, but I do think that it really just depends on what you prefer. If you're the type of player who likes to just grind, 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 and you have access to a group that can do that, then obviously the PvE route can work very well for you. If you have access to the crafting, or if you are a crafter, then crafting Void Bent on the onset of you getting to 200 armoring or having a friend that's 200 armoring could also work out for you. But either way, there's no wrong way to do it. 
but it just depends on what situation you're in. Uh, again, the guild had said like if they were low gear score, you know, 500 under 570, they definitely would have crafted the void bent armor. And if they're 570 plus, they couldn't really see a point because you're already so close to getting new 600 gear score pieces anyway. So I just kind of wanted to touch on this. It's not really a clear cut yes or no because it really just depends on your situation. Like if you've been super lucky and you've been getting void ore and void ingots and all that stuff anyway, might as well, you know, might as well just make it. But if your luck hasn't been that great, then maybe there might be other alternatives for you uh, to reach the same goal. So anyway, guys, um, I just wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about this, kind of address this topic, because I know it's going to be a question that a lot of people have. But if you guys got any other questions, comments, concerns about this particular armor set, uh, definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'll be happy to assist. And with that being said, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.